For more update, please subscribe Gossip America News YouTube channel and press the bell button. Fans of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills want to know about the drama between Diana Jenkins and Dana Wilkie after she sent her a cease and desist. Even though The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 is coming to an end soon, the drama is heating up between Diana Jenkins and former friend of RHOBH Dana Wilkie. For years, Dana has been using her former platform on RHOBH to talk negatively about the housewives, and Diana is not taking Dana's criticism lying down. The two women have become embroiled in a heated battle, with fans wondering why they started fighting in the first place. Dana first appeared on RHOBH Season 2 as a friend of Taylor Armstrong's, but Dana didn't last long and left after that season. RHOBH Dana is well known for bragging about her $25,000 sunglasses. Kim Richards also gave her the nickname Pam while Dana was hosting game night at her house. Dana and Diana don't have much in common except that neither of them is well-liked by viewers. Diana has been working on damage control after she was accused of going after Garcelle Beauvais' 14-year-old son and being a mean girl to Sutton Strack. Arne OBA's Diana, who is doing damage control, has become infamous for sending out her cease and desist letter to the cast of RHOBH. Thanks to page 6, viewers are learning that Dana was so startled by the formal letter that it scared her into deleting the podcast episodes discussing Diana. Dana is known to ruffle a few feathers on her podcast dishing drama with Dana Wilkie uncensored. Still, Diana wasn't about to let a deep dive on Sanila Diana Jenkins with NT Part 1 and deep dive on Sanila Diana Jenkins with NT Part 2 continue to get airtime. Diana's legal team argued that both episodes had false accusations regarding a possible friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Diana has denied any connection to his crimes. Dana also accused the philanthropist of having an affair with NSYNC's Justin Timberlake and posing as a high-end madame. Some RHOBH fans don't feel Diana is innocent of all accusations, as many have taken to Reddit to share their theories. E slash Trish 196,609 shared that they believed there was a gray area, noting that if Diana's former husband, Roger Jenkins, wanted to make deals with wealthy men, I'm sure she'd make the introduction to an attractive woman. The Redditor went one step further, writing, yes, the deal would close and the attractive women given gifts. Is that prostitution? I'll leave it for you to decide. Dana was not the only one to receive cease and desist letters from Diana, as Cheryl, Jezebel, Gawker, Heavy, Sexy Unique Podcast, and the South China Morning Post were all served. The RHOBA star will stop at nothing to keep her name intact, and fans know she has no problem spending the money to fight every media outlet that speaks against her, including Dana. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Gossip America News YouTube channel for more update news.